Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Trader Joe's fun foods. Uh, this is the Jingle Jangle Pretzel Twist. These are chocolate fig bonbons. And I have the mini gingerbread people. So, let me give you some prices. <clears throat> the people were $4.49. The figs were $7.99. And the Jingle Jangle is $3.99. So these are the cheapest. So, Kevin and I have reviewed their Jingle Jangle, and I am so weird. I'm so weird because I uh, relay food with events, food with things. I can remember what we watched on TV. <laughs> he thinks this is so weird. Insanity. So, if you look yeah. up, I don't know when we did that video. It's been several years ago. Since we reviewed the Jingle Jungle in the tent. The day we reviewed that Jingle Jungle, later on in that afternoon, it was like on a Sunday, and we watched A Christmas Carol with Patrick Stewart on TV. The reason I remember is because I came back here and, exactly. and got that whole tin and took it out there, and we, yes, we ate it. We literally, um, ate the tin of Jingle Jungle and it was really good. But that's how I remember it because I remember A Christmas Carol and the Jingle Jangle and so it was these? really good. They're, they're pretzels. actual pretzels. Yes, they're actual pretzels. Well, they don't feel, if you hold that, you don't, you would not think that was a pretzel. It feels like a cookie. It does kind of feel like a cookie. Yeah. Okay. Like crazy. You look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> you I mean, look at me if, like I was crazy. Even if you I look at the bottom, look. Look, the bottom well, doesn't look like I know, but it just does It's like dip. It looks like you looked at me like I was crazy. You are crazy from remembering every food you ever eat. Jingle, jingle jangle pretzel twist. That's why I can't get away with anything. <laughs> Large pretzel twist covered in peanut butter. That's what's on the bottom. Peanut butter candy coating topped with candy coated dark chocolate gems and JoJo's cookie bits. Mm -hmm. You could tell, I don't read the, I just look at the picture on the box and buy it. I had no idea it had peanut butter. Mm -hmm. uh, six servings. Really the, when you there's start. only six of these. Yeah, uh, big. One pretzel, 32 grams is 150 calories. Well, okay. Oh, lots of M&Ms. Mm-hmm. Well. Whatever they're calling their M&Ms. Chocolate candies or whatever. I like the mix of everything. Um, the pretzel has a nice crunch to it. The, um, which I'm, I'm glad because sometimes when they dip things, in, pretzels in things, they get soft. This one is really nice. The cookie is nice flavor. The little candy pieces is nice. The peanut butter, you get a little hint of it. Not mm -hmm. bad. I like it. A little it. messy. Yeah. You wouldn't want to eat these um, like walking down the hall in your house. No. Uh, Not like the general thing where you can just grab a handful and eat them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I like this quite a bit. Yeah, I'm getting a little salt now from the pretzel. You do taste, You. I don't think you mentioned, I didn't hear you mention that you tasted peanut butter. Yeah, I get a hint of peanut butter. It's not really strong peanut butter, but you get it. To me, it's more... Um, it's a uh, pea nutty. It's very, uh, I, I can it's see very, that. yeah, it's very, it, it's very heavy on the peanut flavor itself. Yeah, not as much peanut butter. But I love the, the way that it feels when it, when you uh, bite into it yes. and you're, you're chewing it yep. because it has, it's those candy pieces that do it. Mm -hmm. And the pretzel itself, I think, adds a lot of texture. Yeah, it has a lot of crunch, but it's not hard yeah, at all. Yeah, it's kind of an airy pretzel. Um, I think these are going to go quickly, though. You're going to want to, I mean, that's oh, a, I could eat one of those. That's 150 calories. And I could eat one of those as fast as I do an Oreo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are not going to last long. I think they're they're sweet, but they're not overly sweet. Nope. There's nothing There's nothing butter. like dark or anything like that about it. No bitterness. Um, no. You, get, um, maybe a, you may get a touch of that darker chocolate from the cookie pieces, but that's it. I mean, they're not like dark or like bitter or anything. But let me tell you this. Um, if I you mean, are like a do-it-yourself type person, you could make these yourself at home. You could. It'd be a lot of it, trouble, but... It would be... Well, but with kids, it would be fun. I'm just thinking kids would enjoy yeah. melting peanut butter, taking the big pretzel, melting peanut butter, dipping it 
Of course, you'd have to, I guess, uh, you'd have to put your cookie pieces on immediately. And then your little pe uh, mini M&Ms yeah, or whatever. Yeah, sprinkle all that stuff on, but um, still wet. I just think it would be fun for kids, but you could do this yourself. Mm -hmm. I, I like it though. Yeah. I think these, these are nice. Yeah. Okay. I think you'd have a hard time finding pretzels that have that texture that are that big though. Oh, you don't think they have those at Walmart? I don't know. The only ones I know that are bigger are shortbread and they're really crunchy. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are these are not hard. They're, these they're are airy. airy. They're very airy. Yes, they're very nice. So yeah, I mean Trader Joe's did a good job with yep. those. Definitely. Okay. These. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. They're presented in an interesting way. Fancy. It's, it's a very fancy. Uh, these are uh, so like chocolate. In a hotel room. I know. You know how they presented in like the Yes, room. it's very fancy. Chocolate fig bonbons. We select the best dried figs. We stuff them with our brandy chocolate truffle. We cover them with a thin layer of chocolate and then you get the most delightful experience. So these do have brandy. Brandy chocolate, right? So if I cut they, these. They're chocolate truffle and brandy filling. Oh, so so I, I don't know. It looks like, uh -huh. it looks solid, but chocolate coating, brand, uh, ch chocolate truffle and brandy filling and a dried fig. 4.5 servings per container. Two pieces, 32 grams is 120 calories. Oh, it's big. It's very big. The, okay. It does have a liquid that runs out. It's more like a paste. These are made in Spain. I like that. I like the, is it brandy? I know you said it four times, but I thought that's what it said. Um, I like that little bit of a touch of alcohol flavor in there. It really adds a different, um, like a different level of uh, flavor profile to it. I like that. And then you get the little um, fig in there that's got a really nice texture in it. The fig itself has a, it's, nice. it's almost like um, eating a cherry or something with that skin. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's something Tammy doesn't eat very often is figs. No. <laughs> or we, I don't either, but yeah, I have eaten them in the past. Well, but I mean, and when we do, it's like a fig Newton or something. Yeah, it's, it's not, not a whole fig. Yeah, so you're not getting that texture of the skin. Mm -hmm. You're not getting that little tough chew to it. Mm -hmm. um, but It's kind of like a really big raisin. I do like <laughs> it sure quite was. a bit, and I do like the brandy flavor, and mm -hmm. they didn't overdo it. They no, didn't really overpower nice. it. It doesn't taste like some of these um, uh, chocolates with alcohol, which I love those too, but it's not as strong as that. Yeah, it's not like take your breath away or anything. And there's a, there's a, a really nice sweetness to this. Um, I like I like the, the chocolate and everything yeah. about it. Yeah, it's, it's not, delicious. It's what it, uh, Paul Hollywood said, I don't want enough alcohol to where it feels like I'm afraid to drive afterwards. You know, right. this is not that kind of alcohol. Level. Right, this is yeah. very light. This is very nice. Yeah. I like this. The presentation of this is nice for gift giving. So like if you no. wanted to take something uh, to somebody's house, then I think this is the, this looks like they intended it to be a gift. Right. Whereas these uh, with, you know, th that's might a be on a plate. Right. Yeah. Put these in a bowl or whatever. This looks like a nice gift to give to somebody. These are Trader Joe's mini gingerbread people. Gingerbread cookies with white fudge icing. Oh, okay. And what convinced me to get these was the white fudge mm -hmm. icing. If I hadn't have been able to, I'm glad they put a window. If I hadn't have seen the icing on them through the window, I wouldn't have bought them. If they had been just, just, gingerbread. just gingerbread, because you know me and I want to get the sweetest thing possible, um, they were kind of oh, they're in, it's just a big bag. I know, but I thought this was just a piece of oh, plastic. Oh, no, it's, it's, the it's bag. actually, yeah, see that white fudge on the back? If I hadn't seen that, I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. Okay. They they look, they kind of remind you of uh, animal crackers a little bit with the frosting on the bottom. Uh, let's see. Are you searching for treats your guests will adore? Well, this box contains exactly what you're looking for. These spicy gingerbread cookies will delight, while the familiar cookie shape is sure to excite. Many gingerbread people of sugar and spice, cinnamon molasses, and a syrup of brown rice. 
the white fudge icing lends a festive look. One bite of these gingery cookies, we think you'll be hooked. They are big on flavor, though little in size, adorned with tiny buttons and some dapper bow ties. Dressed to impress for gatherings large and small, these gingerbread people will be enjoyed by one and all. 14 servings, four cookies, 32 grams, 150 calories. So four cookies? He's cute. Mom was injured. He was missing a leg. <laughs> I, I, I like the, they're kind of a hard crunch cookie. They're not like a, a softer crunch. You know, they're not like a, a crunchy cookie. They're kind of a hard cookie, but mm -hmm. they're not so hard to where they're not pleasant to eat. No, I like it quite a bit. Yeah, and the ginger, the, the fudge covering really adds um, some sweetness to it, mm -hmm. but then you're left over with this like ginger burn in the back of your throat. Not a ginger snap burn, it's not that strong, but it, you get a nice like glow mm -hmm. in the back of your throat. It's I really think nice. that is delicious. Yeah. If you like gingerbread, why would you not get these? Yeah. There's, or I should say, there's no reason not to get these if you like gingerbread. Yeah, and they're adorable. Yeah. And you could eat them, of course, like we just did. Hmm? You could decorate. You um, could stick them on top of a little cupcake or whatever. If you're making a little a, a cake with a, a scene. You know, yeah, a scene, those are adorable. You could make a little fence with them, just put them next to each other. That's what I'm saying. You could put them next to each other and they could be like holding hands. Yeah. That's the vision in my head too. Is they're in a circle like like a who bill? Yeah. Yeah, they're cute. Now they do all look the same. Yeah, they do. They don't have different faces or anything no, like that. All the time. Now some of them will be missing a leg or maybe <laughs> even a head occasionally. Maybe a head. Yeah. Um but yes, um I'm very, very pleased with everything in this review yeah. today. The only thing I think I probably wouldn't purchase Again, it's these just because there's so many calories for what you get. I mean, because I would eat them really fast. That's the only reason I'm saying that. This is the only one I probably. If you don't care about calories, though, then, then go for it. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to be very hard because you cannot compare them at all. No, there's You so only different. have money for one. Let's say they all cost the exact same thing, which they don't. But let's pretend they all cost the same I thing. I get the gingerbread people. I like those, and you're getting a lot. Yeah. Look what all you're getting all of these, yeah. and they're only four dollars forty nine cents. Yeah. The jingle jangle was three ninety nine, so but it's actually the like, cheapest. You only get six. You only get six of them. You only get six. You're getting a whole darn bag of people for uh, four dollars and forty nine cents. Yeah. Fourteen servings of four. Um, I really like the figs. If I wanted to eat like a. Um, Something more luxurious, I guess, than I would get the figs. Or give it as a gift. Or give it as a gift. The bad thing about the figs is I, I would it's kind of awkward to kind of eat. Um just because they're so big, you know, I'd almost want to cut them. But mm -hmm. but they're they're really good. I like, I I like everything. To, I don't think I got to see open another one up. I don't think I got to see how big it was when you uh It's like a full size fig with chocolate. I guess I was reading or yeah. something. I, I guess I wasn't It's like a bomb bomb. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Now knowing what I know now that there's no liquid in here, I'd probably just bite it the top. Yeah. Well what part. did you do before? Did you cut it? I bit it? it from the side because I didn't know if it was gonna be liquid oh, on the side. Oh okay. I was wondering why it was shaped like that when you bit it. <laughs> just in case there's any liquid in there, we, yeah. you know, hopefully stay in the cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we will have a picture for you at the end, a yeah. close-up picture of all these things. You'll have to let us know if you've tried any of them, but truly, they're all good. They're all very, very good. Yeah. But I think my favorite thing here is the gingerbread. Yeah, people. I really like them. They're delicious. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.